Hi. Do you know this guy? I bet you don't. Because I don't too. Well, that is the Minister for Transportation, Senator Alaji Saidu Alkali. He was appointed by the President last year. And you know what? He has been one of the most dormant ministers in this administration. But last week, he surprised everyone when he announced that he signed an MOU with a company in the UK. So for the construction of, I think, Calabar, Enubu, Portacourt Railway Traction. The name of the company is MPH Rail Development Limited, registered by one Mr. Andrew Jesse, a British citizen in the UK. Anyway, we check out the name of the company and it was discovered that actually the company was registered in 2019. And since then, the company has been dormant. And in fact, the UK government has threatened to disregister the company twice in the space of five years. So this is strange. However, that was not all. When we checked the activities of the company, we discovered that number one, the company has never handled any rail construction work in any country of the world before. Number two, the company is barely five years old with no track record of any activity. Number three, the net asset of this whole company is, guess what, 100 pounds. And the striking thing is that they employed four Nigerian directors in the space of six months. The question we are asking is, how were they vetted? What was the criteria for them to have signed an MOU with Nigeria? What is their work experience? And why did they employ four notable Nigerians as directors in the space of six months? Was it just for this job? Do you know the most interesting thing? The CEO of the company, Mr. Andrew Jason, has already written on a LinkedIn page that they are already working on our railway system in Nigeria. And on Thursday, something striking happened. Mr. Ikufuriji Adeyemi resigned as the director in the company. However, the ministry came out yesterday with a statement. Guess what is in the statement? Guess right. A whole lot of nonsense. This whole contracts team is a scam from the beginning to the end. And we want where many Nigerians to see that it is and fight against this lay light 